Hey guys. Hey. hey. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. Hello. I'm gonna head back to Siberia there. Oh. Ciao. Mm -hmm. I started dating Aaron this summer. It has been, in a word, exquisite. Gabe is awesome. He has accomplished so much, career-wise and height-wise. Thank God he's my boss, because I would not have said yes to a first date if I didn't have to, but it's been great. And what do we have here? From my secret admirer. That's you. Caught. <laughs> I dominate Valentine's Day. I practically make romance into a science. Roses are red, violets are blue. Look in the vase to find your first clue. Oh my gosh, it's a romantic scavenger hunt. Oh, close. It's a romantic treasure hunt. A scavenger hunt is where you find items from a master list. Uh, this is where you follow the clues that lead to a prize. Common misuse. Good luck. But there's no clue. Oh, get to work. <laughs> I can't because there's no clue. The, the puzzle is the clue. I picked out our movie. It's called Suspiria. It pushes all the boundaries. All your preconceived notions about what horror can be come crashing down. When I win, Ooh. we're gonna watch <laughs> Wally, where all the boundaries of color are pushed. It is hard to explain why Aaron is doing so well today. The only thing I can think is Aaron is living out some slumdog millionaire scenario where every word she's playing has a connection to her orphan past. It's possible. So, I won. I know. You get to pick. Well, that's actually what I came to talk to you about. I know how much you want to watch Wally. -E. Yes. So, I got us a compromise. This movie's called Hardware. It tells the story of a killer combat robot, just like Wally, -E, that the government invented to destroy humans. It's some of what you like and some of what I like. And Mary. Uh, Sorry we're late. Gabe fell in the shower. Such a klutz. Yeah, and it took the fire department forever to get there. Look who I found. Yeah, well, I wasn't very hard to find. Let's go ahead and wash our hands. Is this the same dough that you use for the pizza crust? Yeah, waste not, right? So these are pizza dogs. These aren't pigs in a blanket, per se. Michael knows everything there is to know about snacks. Well, mm. Gabe was born in 1982. He ah. was the longest baby in the hospital. He's the longest baby in this room. What's the longest thing you've ever seen? For me, it was the tail from a jet. Aaron, you don't have to. Yeah, you know what, Aaron, you do have to. Aaron. Michael, you were making this harder than it has to be. That's what she said. And Aaron Hannon, come on up here to receive your cutest redhead in the office award. Oh, cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is the first award I've ever won in my entire life. <laughs> People were right about the Dundies. They are magical. But I don't feel it. And I think that's because I'm not with the right person. Gabe. What? We should break up. What? I'm not attracted to you. I just, I cringe when you talk. I have to be honest. Right? Right, Pam? Thank you for hearing me. Okay, well, this is embarrassing. Um, obviously really angry at Ern. Here comes that quarter-life crisis everyone's talking about. All right, I'm, I'm gonna go. Let's, there you go. Damn, I was cold. Two o'clock should probably be okay. I can either take your number or... I'm sorry, this can't wait. He's just gonna call back. Aaron, I am in love with you. I don't believe in much, okay? I don't believe in horoscopes. I don't believe in Christmas. Uh, uh, I sure as hell don't believe in God. Or maybe there's a guy, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, it's just not a guy with a long white beard. Wh or it could be. I mean, it's possible that that is exactly what, what God <laughs> is. But for, for all of the disbelief, I believe in us. I believe in love. You have made me believe that for all of the hokum out there. Uh, do we not have voicemail? Dwight doesn't trust robots to give us our messages. Well. It just, it messes up my rhythm with... 
I'm taking a break from dating. Gabe was a great guy with so many wonderful qualities, but it was a challenge being touched by him. Gabe? Sweet Aaron. I'm throwing the Halloween party and I just wanna amp it up a little. I think it could use some extra pizzazz. Okay, where does Gabe factor in? Remember that Halloween party you took me to once? The one where I, I started crying as soon as I walked in and I didn't stop crying? Yes. Lars and Takakos. Okay, well, let's say that I wanted this party to be a tiny, tiny bit like that one. Just more adult, more more scary and sexy. I will make this sexier than you could ever imagine. No, just what? scary, if we wanted ideas for scary stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, that'd be scary. <laughs> what are you thinking about? All right, let me go get it. <laughs> Gabe! You can't. I need to talk to you. You can't be in here. This is a lady's bathroom. No. Uh, Aaron, Aaron, I respect your privacy, but I will follow you in here every time you go if that's what it takes. Agreed. Not cool, man. I really think you should leave. Someday, you are going to tell our grandchildren about how their grandfather won you back in a women's room. Can we talk about this later? I have to go. Have okay, to go. Ju just read the letter under your windshield wiper, okay? It explains everything. Okay. Okay? If you want... Gabe! Well... Thank you all for coming in. Just wanted to check in. How was everyone's day? <sighs> Honestly, it was a little weird. Really? Hmm. That's interesting, because Aaron and Pete thought it wouldn't be weird at all. Why do you think it was weird, Gabe? Maybe because you and Aaron used to be an item? I still wear Aaron's button bands around the condo sometimes, so it feels to me like we're still in a relationship. Gabe. A lot of the time. Oh. And Alice, uh, I understand you once dumped Pete, ouch. It was an amicable breakup, Andy. <laughs> okay, while we're rewriting history, you never had a drinking problem. It was college. That is what you do. Yeah, you're also supposed to go to classes, so there's that. Hey, Andy, is this at all work-related? We'll get to that. Gabe, did Erin ever tell you that she loves you? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> she wouldn't even let me say it. It was adorable. She'd plug her ears and scream her heart out. <laughs> Can you stop talking? Because every word out of your mouth is like the squawk of an ugly pelican. I got a tattoo for you. I didn't ask you to get that Nike swoosh. Nobody did. You did that for you. Just do it. You were the it that I was just doing. So you're dating a secretary now? <laughs> Moving up in the world, Pete. She's nice to me. How's that PE degree coming? That's what he wanted to be. His dream in college was to be a gym teacher. Well, <laughs> guess what? He could still be a gym teacher. In fact, we could all still be gym teachers. So let's. I technically cannot. I don't have the lung capacity to blow a whistle. What kind of music are you into, Peter? Uh, I like all kinds of music, Gabe. Really? All kinds? So you like Songs of Hate, <laughs> written by the White Knights of the Ku Klux Klan? No! Aaron, are you even no, hearing this? Gabe, he didn't even say that. He's not a very sophisticated man. I mean, he can't use chopsticks, so <laughs> do I need to say anything else? <laughs> Aaron, I've been to Japan. I know how to use chopsticks so well. Come back. One night. Gabe, I Give don't me want one night with What is that supposed I've to be? Is that supposed everything? to be? I don't want you to shave. I wasted anyway. two years of my life on you. You realize just, that, right? I just want to be real clear that chopsticks is not the measure of a man. I am as smooth as a porpoise. Wow. 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 W